fxlivedaytrading.com. I want to go over day trading um, gaps. All right now, this is a very popular topic. You may have read about it. You may even have traded gaps before. It may have worked very well. It may have not worked very well. But I'm going to give you a very um, summarized um, video edition here, and then I'm going to have a, a details um, and videos um, in the member section for those who want to take it to the next level. But for the most part, I'll just summarize what a gap is and some opportunities that can be grabbed when you are trading a gap. So this right here is the S&P. This is a December 2019 contract. And uh, right now we have a price at 30.38. We did gap up above the support level. This is so typical that we do see gap ups above support levels. A lot of times we get that retest um, at that level at some point. That doesn't necessarily mean that it is going to be that day so that is a big misconception and you have to remember that when you're trading the gap it doesn't mean that that gap is going to be closed on that day a lot of times people will say yeah i trade the gaps um but now historically speaking trading a gap is a wonderful idea but you have to know how to do it and it can be a very very profitable a day trading endeavor an opportunity so to speak so we gapped up here all right we closed right around that 3019 area and then we gapped up above we gapped up let's say we started uh, the market I think it was about 3032 today we popped sold off a little bit now we're just consolidating but at some point the idea of the whole gap means that we are going to be coming back down to this area where we closed on Friday and then that would be what's called closing the gap so one of the issues that I see with new traders is they automatically think oh that gaps going to be closed so then they go short here not realizing that a consolidation can take place and then we can move higher and hey this gap can very well close two weeks from now a month from now two days from now we just don't know so you have to know how to trade these and there's various techniques that I use that give me some indication whether or not the gap is going to close I mean some basics that I can share with you would be is there news that day if so what kind of news are they talking about is it major geopolitical news or is it just some stock specific news because obviously if you're trading an index um the index is going to be more affected by a geopolitical news event for example we had amazon report horrible earnings last week and for those who were very excited to stay short on the um, ES, and that was Thursday going into Friday, they got in trouble on Friday when that market gapped up and it just kept going and going. So here we are 40 points later from where the Amazon close took place, and that event really didn't didn't you know create much of a of a drop in the overall index so be careful of how you are um, interpreting your news and the importance of the news as well so now on the flip side if Amazon has a um, news specific event and that has a gap and at that point we are justifiable by our indicators market sentiment that yes it's justified that the gap will be closed then go ahead and take the trade but for the most part you have to use a lot more techniques than just saying this gap is going to close and I'm going to be in that trade that's a very negative way to go about trading here we have a um, you know a, a clear now I, I don't have a lot of indicators on this chart but right now this is just in no man's land I mean we made new highs today you got to be careful here of what direction this S&P is going to take we may very well make new highs here so be careful with this gap know how to trade the gap and and whether or not it it 
it works for you, um, you you're going to have to utilize different criteria and that's going to increase or decrease your odds of success in a gap trade. So if you can learn anything <coughs> excuse me, from this video, learn that gaps do not always close on that same day. And this goes for any cap. It goes for Forex, futures, stocks. Although I have to say gaps work much better with uh, stocks because, again, you, know, you have the Forex market. And unless it's a gap on a Sunday, you know, a night open, the gaps are not relevant, in my opinion, in Forex as they are in futures. So keep all this in mind. Gaps are also less relevant than they were in the past because now we have overnight trading. Now I, I, I'm talking about index gaps. So, hope this helps you. This topic is the day trading a gap. All right. All right. Take care, everybody, and I hope to see you at fxlivedaytrading.com. Adequate fencing for your Connie courses. Take care, everyone.